Hey guys, what's going on? This is Michael Rock and I'm so happy to be back with another video. Today we're going to talk about something very interesting, the background features in Classin and Kamin. But before we dive in, let's take a moment to understand what we mean by background in these apps. In Classin, a background is like a backdrop that you can put behind your virtual classroom. It's like changing the scenery to make things look different. And right now, since the latest updates, there are even more some ready-to-use backgrounds you can pick from. Now, why should this matter to you? Well, let me explain. First, it's a really easy way to make your classes more fun, especially if you're teaching students who are still growing up. Changing your background can make things more interesting and keep students engaged. Also, you can match the background with what you're teaching. Let's say if you're talking about the ocean and you can have an ocean background, and yeah, it's like bringing the topic to life. Now let's switch to the Kamin app. Just in case you didn't know, Kamin is a virtual camera app made by Classin. Here you can make your camera look better by adding a virtual background. Imagine you are teaching from your home, but the background behind you shows a library or a peaceful forest. You might be wondering why bother with this virtual background thing. So here is the reason. First, it's a nice way to make your online teaching setup look professional and special. You get to choose a background that goes with your style or even the subject you're teaching. I would say it's a bit like picking the right clothes for an occasion. And virtual backgrounds help in keeping distractions away. So no need to worry about a messy room in the background. The focus stays on you and what you're teaching. So let's dive into each of these apps and see how can we add our own backgrounds and switch between them. Let's start off by going over some basic things in Classin. These are the simple rules for the pictures you want to use. Whether you're using a Mac or Windows, remember these two numbers, 1280 by 720 pixels for how sharp it looks and the file size should be less than one megabyte. Just remember to save it as a JPEG file, that's the type you need. Now let's get practical with the example. I'll show you how to add your own background to your virtual classroom. Here is how you do it. When you're in your classroom, find the little gear icon up in the top right corner and click on that. Then go to settings and you'll find a tab called classroom background. Click on that. And guess what? There are already some pictures ready for you to choose. They are made by Classin. Here is something to keep in mind. When you change the background, it's just for the class you're in right now. So when your next class starts, if you want a different background, you'll have to do it again. Switching a background is really easy. Just click on the one you want and boom, your background changes. But if you want to use your own picture as we planned from the beginning, that's cool too. Just click on upload, choose your picture, and you can even move it around or zoom in or out if you need to. And that's it. Now it's part of your collection, so you don't need to do it again next time. Oh, and one more thing. You can have up to five of your own pictures saved. If you hit the limit, you can get rid of some by clicking on the little red X in the corner. Simple as that. By customizing your background, you're creating an environment that matches your lessons vibe. It's a quick and easy way to keep your class engaged and excited. All right, now let's talk about how to change backgrounds in Kamin. By the way, before I've also made another video about Kamin, so make sure to check it out using the link that will appear in the upper right corner. All right, first you need to open Kamin and then click on my camera tab. In case you don't have it, you can create it by clicking on new channel button. Here you can pick your camera. I have FaceTime HD camera, then click on the settings icon and then click on the backgrounds tab. By default, no background is activated, but same as in Classin, you can firstly switch between pre-installed backgrounds, including transparent, blurred and other amazing images. And then if you click on the plus icon, you will be able to upload your own background. But the cool thing here is that here you can upload background in BMP, PNG, JPEG and SVG formats. I've tested several different proportions and found out that 1920 by 1080 works the best. So let's upload and choose one of the backgrounds that I've prepared for this video. I think it looks pretty good. So now this background would be automatically added to the list of different backgrounds. So now you won't need to re-upload it next time. And there you have it. That's how you can easily upload and switch between different backgrounds in Kamin. Changing backgrounds in both Classin and Kamin can really make your teaching exciting. It's not just about how things look, 
it's about making your class fit your lesson. All right, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you very soon in the next video.